Now, actually, a refrigerated boxcar is a splendid way to travel. Splendid, that is, if one is a snowman or a furry-coated rabbit. But for Karen... <laughs> Are you cold, Karen? Now, that's a silly question. You wouldn't be sneezing if you weren't cold. Well, just... just a li little. <laughs> Frosty realized that Karen had to get out of that car as soon as possible. So when the little freight train stopped to let an express full of happy Christmas travelers pass, Frosty took advantage of the opportunity and quickly got them all out. Oh, you tricked me! No fair! The only thing Professor Hinkle could do was make a jump for us. Frosty wanted to get as far away as he could before Hinkle woke up. <laughs> but the woods to which they traveled were still bitterly cold. Hocus, I've got to get Karen all warmed up, or she's a goner. I can't make a fire. Oh, boy. That's one thing I really can't do. Guess we just better keep moving till we find someone who can. Then suddenly they came upon a tiny glen, which seemed almost magical. For it was Christmas Eve, and the woodland animals were all decorating for their big celebration. They knew Santa was to come that night and they wanted everything to be just right. Hocus, speak to the animals. See if they won't all pitch in and build a fire for Karen. <laughs> the animals were delighted to help. So they found the spot away from the glen where the fire wouldn't catch on to the tree. Soon there was a spark, and in almost no time, a splendid fire was crackling away.